Hello friends, this is James Corbett of CorbettReport.com coming to you on the 29th of November 2009. It's T-minus nine days from the start of the Copenhagen Conference where the UNFCCC will be meeting in an attempt to hammer out a successor agreement to the Kyoto Accord, one that will see the creation of non-democratic, unelected, global governmental structures. But don't take my word for that. Take the new president of the European Union's word for it. 2009 is also the first year of global governance with the establishment of the G20 in the middle of the financial crisis. The climate conference in Copenhagen is another step towards the global management of our planet. Indeed, there is an agenda at work where financial oligarchical interests are consolidating their power in unaccountable international institutions in the name of fighting this man-made climate change scare. And just as the clouds seem the darkest and the forces arrayed against us seem the strongest, we have been handed the keys to the gate, so to speak, in an effort to combat their spin and propaganda, and that is the climate gate scandal. Obviously, the scope and breadth of this scandal is simply breathtaking. And of course, not only the academic fraud that seems to have been going on behind the scenes, as we see from the emails and documents, and please take a look at the source code for the climate models they were using and you'll know what I'm talking about. But at any rate, the academic fraud is one issue, but we call it climate gate because it is perhaps potentially a criminal issue that needs to be investigated criminally because we have indications that people like Dr. Jones were conspiring to delete information pertaining to freedom of information requests, which is, of course, a criminal activity. So this is a huge bombshell right in the middle of the main propaganda tool that the uh, financial oligarchs are using to construct their global governmental system. And what does the controlled corporate media and the foundation-funded media have to say about this? Well, almost nothing whatsoever. What they have had to say so far is mostly spin and propaganda. Very few people in the media are taking up this issue. Uh, but it is now one of the most searched terms online. Go search for it, Climate Gate. There are millions upon millions of articles, videos, and other things being done online about this because people realize that this is a key story. And it is truly up to you and me to become the media and to get out there and inform other people about this incredible story. So in that spirit, I'm announcing a new contest. It's called Arrest the Climatologists. And the contest is 100% simply about getting the word out about the climate gate scandal. You can do this in any way you want, in any way that you're capable of. The contest will really be your attempt to get this word out to other people. All you have to do is do that in some public way. It doesn't really matter how you do it. You can send a letter to the editor. You can uh, put a video up on YouTube. You can write an article on your blog. You can uh, hand pamphlets out to people on the street. It doesn't matter, but there are some contest rules. The contest rules are that you'll have to, one, do something legally. You can't do anything illegal to enter this contest because I don't defend or condone illegal actions in the pursuit of truth and justice. Two, you have to document what you're doing in some way. So even if you send in a letter to the editor and it gets published in the newspaper, great, but you have to send that in uh, to me in some documentable form by scanning it in and sending it to me, for example. And three, this has to be sent to me at CorbettReport.com through the contact button. So please send me a link to what you're doing or a document, whatever it is. And in the subject line, please put arrest the climatologist contest. Now, if this contest were happening today, perhaps this would be the winning entry. Or perhaps this would be the winning entry. Making a dad of the old hard way. Fudging the numbers day by day Ignoring the snow and the cold in a downward line Hide the decline Let your imagination run wild. There are many ways to get this information out to other people. Of course, since this is a contest, we have to talk about prizes, but since I'm a regular nine to five worker who lives paycheck to paycheck, I have exactly zero dollars, zero yen, zero rupees, zero rubles to contribute towards a prize for this contest. 
all I can offer is an IOU. So I'm going to give to the winning entry a free copy of my forthcoming book, Reportage Essays on the New World Order. In fact, I'll give the first copy hot off the press. I'll sign it and send it off to you wherever in the world you may be if you win this contest. But of course, we are all winners if we enter this contest and if we help to spread the word about ClimateGate, the scandal of our times at a key juncture in history. So I definitely look forward to seeing your entries and together we can put this story over the top. Thank you.